struggle. Don't struggle. It's, there's no such thing as struggling. You know what I'm saying? You have to think outside the box. The recent pandemic has been a time of uncertainty and fears of the unknown future as many business owners experienced a shift in their business. According to studies, nearly two thirds of entrepreneurs felt their business might not survive the pressures of COVID-19. Today, we have DJ Badanju. He gives us an insight into how the lockdown has affected his DJ career and how he managed to quickly change the circumstances. He also has advice for other entrepreneurs and business owners that have struggled during the pandemic. I had my whole year set up. I had bookings galore. I had like every weekend was booked up. So it's like it was a bit of a panic when I found out that lockdown was literally here. With regards to thinking outside the box, um, turning my van into a DJ van and um, just, I wouldn't say, well, I was breaking the law, but you know, like I was taking the van to like parks. I was taking the van to industrial states. I was messaging all my people and saying, look, we're having a block party. You know, trying to keep everybody uplifted. That's one thing I like doing. Before lockdown, like I said, I had everything set up. Every weekend was booked up in my calendar. Weddings abroad. I had um, IB for Sun Clash abroad. Stuff like Carnival. Carnival was something that I always look, look forward to as well because you know it's something that I do every year. Uh, something I've been doing since the age of like 15. I just remember coming to Carnival with my school bag and I had all these seven inches records in my, in my school bag and I used to get up on the truck and I used to just DJ to thousands of people. So this is something that I really enjoy and I do year to year. So, you know, that not having carnival was a, it was upsetting. <laughs> it was upsetting, but trust me. So even down to um, having the music bus, um, me and my partner, we uh, created, we called it Harmony, the musical send off. Uh, we built, a uh, social media page, Instagram page, and we've basically turned it into a, a business. During the whole pandemic, you're not allowed to have any halls, there was no indoor events. So me bringing the van up there and just having the van right by the graveside and just seeing everybody uplifted and dancing and enjoying themselves, it was, it was lovely to see. Um, from there, everything's just been Everything's just been ongoing. Uh, every funeral that I do, I make sure I take a little video clip so I can document it, show other people what I can do and show other people the service that I can bring to people. The only advice I can give is, you know, just to think outside the box. You know what? You might come up with an idea here yeah, that sounds so silly, but if it sounds silly, you can make it sound sense. Like, if you know what I mean, it can make it, it can make sense. Something silly can make sense, but it's how you fulfill that. It's how you put that together. You know what I'm saying? And you know what's funny? I put out a post, yeah, saying that I was going to have um, a block party in a cemetery, yeah? And I got so much backlash from it, yeah? This was, this was before I came up with this whole funeral idea, yeah? You know, the backlash was serious. And you know what? I turned that, as silly as it sounded, I turned it into something positive. You know what I'm saying? I turned it into something positive and look what's happening now, I'm winning. <laughs>